हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल परफॉर्म द एक्टिविटी ऑफ चैप्टर लाइफ प्रोसेस क्लास टेन साइंस दिस इज द थर्ड एक्टिविटी ऑफ अ चैप्टर वेयर वी हैव टू टेक अ स्टार्ट सॉल्यूशन इन टू टेस्ट ट्यूब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल प्रिपेयर द स्टार्ट सॉल्यूशन सो आई एम टेकिंग हेयर द सॉलिड स्टार्ट हेयर एंड एडिंग इट इन टू अ टेस्ट ट्यूब कंटेनिंग वॉटर सो नाउ द सोल्यूशन नाउ प्रिपेयर हेयर इज अ स्टार्ट सोल्यूशन सिमिलरली इन अनदर टेस्ट ट्यूब ऑल्सो आई विल एड द स्टार्ट and then prepare solution of it this is the first step of the activity that we have to add starch into a water and to prepare the starch solution now one is the test tube a and other one is the test tube b after preparing two starch solution now the next step is to take the iodine solution in a test tube and we have to take a very dilute solution so i will add a few drops of iodine and then i will add a water into it so now this is a very dilute solution of an iodine now the next step is to add this iodine solution in the one test tube which contain a starch and in another test tube we have to add the saliva so we have added saliva into it you can observe here so now we have to just keep this slide for 20 to 30 minutes and after this we have to add this iodine solution into the two test tube one hour later so when we add the few drops of iodine solution into test tube containing only starch then it converted into a purple color solution you can observe here whereas in case of saliva a starch containing saliva you can observe the color remain the same just like a dilute solution we have taken so but in this case it become a violet or a purple color solution whereas a test tube containing starch and saliva the color does not change so what does this reflect that salivary amylase act on starch and convert it into glucose whereas in case a test tube containing only starch the iodine will react and give the purple color solution whereas in case of saliva containing starch there will be no change because saliva contains salivary amylase which convert starch into glucose so what does this indicate about the presence or absence of starch in the two test tube in the in the first case starch is present where it turn the color change whereas in the second case there is no starch is present it is already converted into glucose what does this tells us about the action of saliva on starch so now saliva contains salivary amylase which convert starch into glucose